So, good afternoon, everyone. This is the final presentation for the project with you. I'm Mari Pinto, and I'm the team producer. I'm Pancandlaria, artist. I'm Monique Park, animation director and artist. I'm Ashlyn Sparrow, experience designer and documentation lead. Artist and experienced designer. Antonio Gomes, Tank Lead and Programmer. Our advisors are Michelle Macau and Manchu Chen, and our plan for this semester is the Madeira Theme Park, which is located in Santana, one hour away from Funchal. The Madeira Theme Park tells the story and tradition of Madeira throughout a series of attractions, uh, and we were proposed to work with a particular one, the Four Springs Pavilion. For those who don't know, the Four Springs Pavilion is a place where stories are told in a 360 degrees environment, while the audience stands in a bridge that crosses the entire length of the building. After talking to our advisors and to our client, uh, we were proposed to develop one static and one animation uh, and one interactive experiences for the theme park. And we targeted both experiences uh, from children 9 to 12 years old since it's the main audience of the theme park itself. Um, however, since it's not feasible for us to go back and forth to Sundown every time we need to play test and visualize our contents, we had to create a smaller version of the pavilion here at the University of Monday. And using four short through projectors, we were able to successfully replicate the experience they provide to their audience at the theme park. And now Pedro will talk about the animation. Thank you. So our animation is called Fertilar e Espada, and it's an original, original uh, fairy tale that we created during the semester. In our core presentation, we presented a concept, which was a story where the, the viewer could see the process that takes from the moment where the ca uh, scabbard is captured to it's turned into a meal. This would be uh, shown in a reverse manner, meaning that first you would see the actual meal, and then you would see all the steps that it took to get to that point. By halves, we had a, a complete animatic of that story, and we had all, all also successfully created an entire sequence in high quality. That enabled us to showcase it to children in our target audience, which helped us to explain the story better. So we ended up doing uh, organizing five user tests in be between halves and soft, soft openings, and that helped us a lot in further developing our story and our visuals. And after a few user tests, we ended up changing our story. The user thought that it needed more action. And while our animatic had a lot of movement, the story wasn't engaging. So we changed our story from a more informative nature to a fairy tale. And after all the user tests, we actually truly finished our story. And we changed it to a way that it's more easily understandable for the users. So we ch change it into a fairy tale that describes the life of a scabbard and how it is despised by everyone because of being so ugly. And in an attempt to make a friend, swims up to the surface where he encounters a lonely lighthouse keeper who spends his days gazing at a pendant. When the, fi when the lighthouse keeper loses the pendant, he, the scabbard fish tries everything he can in order to, to retrieve it and by doing so saves the man and they both gain a friend. And now Monique will talk to you about the production process. After the final life story, we finally started the real production process, which wasn't that much different from any other animation process. With the script, we created the storyboard. With the storyboard, we created an animatic for better timing and the asset composition. And with the, uh, the only difference that the four screen animation makes it is that since we decided to compose it as a one long stripe, we needed to synchronize the screen one and the screen four. And even though we changed the story to be less about the scabbard fish itself, about informative, we still reference a lot from the Madeira culture, such as the lighthouse in, on location and the color scheme of the island. After a few final user tests, we decided to put both Portuguese and English narration for better understanding. Also, we adjusted the timing and the transitions to be smoother. After the fine uh, of soft opening, we had three major concerns. First, some of the narration was difficult to hear. And second, 
The timing and the transition seem to be still rushed or fast. And third, the sound was not highlighting the important events. So for the final iteration, we re-recorded the English narration and we lengthened the animation from four minutes to five minutes, slowing down important events. And finally, we recruited a talent to compose a original soundtrack called the horror animation. And here is our demo. And now Ashlyn will talk about Alien Musical. So Alien Musical is our interactive experience. And what we did was we focused on modern music and instruments, wanting to create an experience where guests can participate in the traditional modern band. So at the first four weeks of the semester, we proposed having guests use real instruments, sensors, and a workstation, and interact with the four screens by playing songs and even learning traditional dances. So we so we based our graphics on modern elements using famous churches, uh, Santana houses, and other elements. We then structured the interface where the notes would come down from the center of the screen down the path. And when that comes to the bottom, the guests would play their instrument. And as you can see, we were using dark artwork, highlighting the house and the game path. So halfway through the semester, we brightened up the artwork a bit. And we were even able to have our four guests play the game using four monitors and keyboards to simulate the four screens. And we were still considering implementing traditional modern dances. So between halves and softs, we conducted five user tests and we changed our designs based on the user's suggestions and our observations of the users. So the first thing the children told us is that they wanted more color. And so we brightened up the landscape using modern nature. And also because guests were not aware of how well they were playing, we gave each instrument a flower that would grow alongside their game pad. Then we changed our interaction from a keyboard to a kiosk, and this kept the project in our scope. We also changed dancing to singing because we would not be able to control the guest's movement within the space. And then we added solos, where one guest would play and the rest would clap along. So now Ju's gonna talk about our soft opening concerns. Mm -hmm. Before soft, we have three concerns. Whether our keyboard functions well, or our UIs are easy to understand, and lastly, if our users can comprehend both sporting system, group play through creating buildings, and individual play through, through growing flowers. And as a result, we found that those concerns were not clearly solved, thus we needed to find the proper alternative. For the final, um, as our kiosk was unstable, we changed the sensor from push buttons to the pressure sensors. In addition, we specified wrong tapping UIs in, in two, two cases. One is for the case of randomly tapping without any notes. Another one is for the case of out of tempo. Moreover, as we got the opinion that it was really hard to recognize how many buildings they built through gameplay, we implemented one more stage to let them look around before they get the score. In a nutshell, in a musical, audience can grow flowers and create buildings for the island of Madeira. When musical notes come down to the path, 
Users have to tap the button to grow flowers. And if they are all doing well, they can create the buildings. In a chorus, users have to sing the Madeira traditional song following the lyrics on the screen. And finally, there are solos. During one player, during one user plays it, others have to follow by clapping. Now we will show our short demo. In our demo, four small windows represent each one of the cube environment. An individual kiosk an individual kiosk will be matched with the screen that will be interacted with. after Pittsburgh calendar and we started without project room and we didn't have tech for six weeks. Because of this, all our process was pushed forward and we start development in the week of house presentation. That because of this, alpha and beta were also pushed back and development ended last week, uh, one week later than initially planned. Because of this, the last tweaking and polishing videos uh, posting documentation and preparing for final and public presentations had to be pushed to this last week. During the process, we learned valuable lessons. We learned that because of the, all the setbacks in the early semester, we had a really bad morale. And because we overcame this, uh, this negativity mindset, we could realize how important it is to keep positive to push a project forward. Uh, the communication issues inside the, the team's workspace, it's really important that these issues are solved in a timely manner, as early as possible. Because we didn't solve ours, really soon we let them escalate to, to an edge. 
the whole planning, we started two weeks later, as I said, and our schedule was pushed forward, so we had to plan accordingly to, for us to be able to, e even though those problems, we could deliver our final product. And lastly, we, were, we are the first project team of this new master program here in the University of Madeira. And because of that, we face like unique problems that other teams won't face. And we really learn how to expect unexpected problems and to adapt to them, manage to solve them, and to finally defeat them. We would like to thank to all these people, and we would like to invite you all to visit our project room after this presentation where you can experience through both experiences. And Sunday we will have the public showcase at the Madeira theme park where we will be showcasing the, um, both experiences in the actual screen, uh, the actual pavilion in the real side. So thank you very much and we are now open for questions. Kids, right? For yes. three to five. So they are not interested what technology you have used, how, how much skill you have. Yes. They're not